Hello YouTubers and welcome to my first real video not including some crisis gameplay videos and anyway um, I was looking through some FM tutorials and um, I learned out uh, learned what um, amplitude modification which is um, mod modulation well same thing which is where a waveform um, controls the volume of another waveform or frequency modulation which is where a waveform or noise or whatever same as the other thing um, controls the pitch of something I was thinking well it's actually possible to route um, pretty much anything to your oscillator's pitch in the Thor so um, how about I try some FM synthesis without even touching the FM pair or the phase modulation oscillator. So first thing I did was I um, well first of all um, got the initialized patch and stuck in a um, sawtooth waveform and that's also automatically routed to the filter and etc and that's the thing you'll be hearing which is just that pretty boring and the second thing I did was stuck in another analog oscillator which you aren't actually hearing directly and routed that to the first oscillator's amplitude that doesn't really do much in a basic sawtooth in the same octave but add in a a square wave and put it two octaves down the saw first saw is in um, octave four by the way and um, it's a very interesting and kind of dark sound now let's um, an amplitude modification out of the way a uh, mod modulation and just a reminder you aren't actually hearing directly hearing the second analog oscillator it's only controlling the volume of the first one and the other thing I did was I stuck in a noise oscillator in spot 3 which I am going to route to oscillator 1's pitch which already that's a certainly very interesting and fat sound right there and um, in addition to this I think I'm going to chuck in a um, in the back it's got a nice um, suggestion for how to do analog style drifting which I think I'm going to add to this as well which is where you stick in um, an LFO at, a, at the lowest rate for that tempo sync course and um, put in the random the first random waveform which is the stepped one apparently and route that to an oscillator's pitch which we're going to be doing the first oscillator the this one though you could probably route it to the one of the other ones which created interesting and different sound as well so here we have a very thick and dark sound which is kind of changes a little bit every note you play. As you can hear that's not the exact same thing despite the fact that um, it's a little bit random and etc. You can change that a bit by changing um, well the band on the noise, the amount that each thing's routed the pulse width of your square wave or um, possibly even at changing the first oscillator to a square wave too to create an even darker sound like there <laughs> 